the Northeast Conference welcomes you live to the Dog Pound. From the Chase Athletic Center in Smithfield, Rhode Island, this is Northeast Conference basketball. Bulldogs lead pass up ahead to Whittington. Whittington in transition. Going into the corner to Soper. Down low on Coma. Mensa taking it right to the basket for the Deuce. Off for dribble. We'll bounce pass it into the right corner to Soper. Soper to her. Nice touch pass inside to Ancoma. Mensa high off the glass in it. Going to try to pass inside. The ball came back to her. To keep possession for the flash. Dugan lines it up from the right side for three. And the red flash have come right back. They trail by a single digit. Seven Bryant, the flash looking for their first lead of the game. This trip down the floor, Dugan steps just inside the perimeter and nails a long two to put the flash on top, nine to eight. Hayward in the corner. Open look as Smith cuts in and takes it right to the basket. Five in, Prescott comes up with a loose ball. Lead pass up ahead. Thorne to Smith. Right corner, three ball is good for Alexa Hayward, the freshman, timeout on the floor. Winnington can run. She bounces it up to Soper. Here's Tahura just inside the perimeter for a long two. Front iron on Coma Mensa with the rebound. Gets it back to Tahura, who lays it in off the square. Winnington really has had to step up her role more uh, with Bailey out of the lineup. Here's Tahura bringing it right down the middle from midcourt. Here's Whittington. Eight on the clock. Whittington drives in. Try to pass it back the free throw line. It was intercepted. Allie Williams racing down the floor, trying to beat the buzzer, and she does. Will it count? Yes. I'm pretty well pleased with the guard. You know, defensively with our guards, you know, we didn't let Winnington get under us like I talk about and get to the middle of the court. You know, we gave up one, I think, to Mensa, but we were in a little press there. We just didn't rotate quick enough. Um, so I'm over, overall, I'm pretty well pleased with only giving up 22 points at the half on the road. Let's talk about offensively. You were you knew Bryant was going to play zone. Yeah. They've shown you a little 3-2, a little 2-3. Yeah. You talked about getting great shots. Thoughts on that? We did early on. I think, you know, with Dugan, the two shots she hit were very good shots. Um, we need to get better ball reversal. We need to get the ball in the middle of the court. Our posts need to do a better job when they get the ball at the high post of taking care of the ball, squaring up without putting the ball on the floor. Ten points now for Williams. Nice extra pass to Akoma Mensa on the right side, coming in, drawing the contact, count the bucket, and the foul. Hearn Winnington playing a little game of catch there on the far side of the field, but Stahura was wide open along the baseline to take it in. Douglas Honor back out to Smith. Smith from inside the circle throws it up and connects, nothing but net. They go inside to Williams, pass back to Gibbs. Cross court to Thorne, inside Dugan along the baseline, got the front bounce to her on the left side, top of the key, Soper. Soper on the drive, kicks to the right side, Winnington for three. You know, and a big time for Bryant to nail their first three ball. Open look, Smith a step inside the three-point arc. It'll be a long two here in the 2011-2012 year. On Coma Mensa, ahead of the pack, in transition, she gets the basket, Bryant with the lead. Williams along the left baseline, under 30 seconds to play. Second chance for Thorne in the corner, and she connects for three. Coach Burke talked about how important that is to keep her on the floor. They really need her. You can see she's a steadying influence and obviously clutch from the free throw line. Two free throws, clutch and good for Katie Whittington. Smith on the drive on the left side. And Bryant comes out of the zone, man-to-man -man for this 21-second possession. Down to 10. Thorne for three. Well short. Gibbs trying to put it back from underneath. Douglas comes up with a loose ball, and she is fouled. 4.2 to play. Second free throw good as well. 57-52 Bulldogs. Final 4.2. Thorne up the floor. Throws it up, in and out at the buzzer, and the ball game is over. Smithfield, Rhode Island becomes upset city as the Bulldogs knock off the defending champs, 57 to 52. Good St. Francis team. When we talked on the phone, you talked about your mantra for your team, play hard and play focused. What are your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, you know, I, you know, again, I think the players really came out focused and playing hard and the level of intensity. You know, we had a couple moments where there were a couple lapses and you can't do that against a really good team. Um, but then, you know, we pulled it together and, and really played super hard and, you know, just very impressed with how well they, you know, really focused for most of the game and played well. A lot of big plays down the stretch. Monday, you have the Colonials coming to town. Robert Morris, any thoughts? I'm not giving you much time to celebrate this win. Any thoughts on Robert Morris? Yeah, you know, another very, very good team. We're being really tested here at home out of the gate. 
the first one, you know, was all about sending a message that we're going to be considered one of the top programs in the league, and we hope we can continue to do that against Robert Morris tonight. we got one of the best sophomores in the league standing here. Let me, before we bring Nana in, thoughts on this young lady's effort today in her game? Yeah, I mean, Nana, Nana's been playing awesome, very focused, unstoppable, you know, offensively, rebounder, tough. A lot of energy, and I think the team feeds a lot off her um, and the energy that she brings. So, you know, she's just been playing tremendous for us, and we're just very fortunate to have her. Well, that's great. Nana, come on over here, young lady. Congratulations on a great game. Your thoughts on today's game? I know you came out of the gate, hot, six early points. You didn't get a lot of touches in the part of that first half. Then you came on strong. Your thoughts on the game? Um, I mean, we've been preparing for four days for this team. Like, we know they're number one in the conference, and... Um, we're just coming in. We're not officially in the NCAA yet. So um, we just want to prove to everyone in the NEC that we're ready. For once we're ready next year that we'll be in it. We'll be one of the best teams in the league, hopefully, and just keep working hard. Well, you're a great rebounder. I'm very interested in this. Coach said you rebound like Dennis Rodman. I don't even know if you remember Dennis Rodman, but you have a nose for the basketball. Talk to me about your effort rebounding the ball and what that means to the team. I mean, um, I did track all these years of my life, so jumping was a big thing for me. So I love rebounding. It's my favorite thing. Like, I mean, if I can rebound and put back or one of my teammates shoots and I rebound, kick it out, it's one of my favorite things to do. You know, feeding off of rebounding, I think if we rebound, we push out, do what we do best. So, I mean, rebounding is a big part of our team, and I'm really happy that I can be a part of that. Well, she's one of the best rebounders in the league, an undersized post. You also run the floor, so you can see that track experience come out. <laughs> Lots of luck on Monday and the rest of the way. Thank you. Craig, back to you. All right, thanks, Pam.